Now we're going to take the papers and the decorations that we made and we're going to go ahead and put them on the jar. You can use just regular plain white, um, it's kind of like a school glue, arts and crafts glue for this. And again, it's just one option of decorating. If your kids like using glue, it's probably the, um, the easiest, easiest method of decorating the jar. Or again, you can use paints, which might get a little bit messier, but it's also a lot of fun. Here we'll make kind of decorations um, using our outdoor color schemes. We have some yellow rays of the sun, and then we'll glue on the bottom, around the bottom, the uh, color of the grass. What's nice about this project is it really also teaches kids a little bit about science because um, we'll see as we get to gauge and measure the different types of weather, we see that there really are changes that take place and this uh, little, this little uh, instrument that we're creating today is, is really is kind of, uh, has a degree of accuracy to it. So it's kind of neat that you can actually kind of know the weather before it actually before it actually comes and there's a lot to learn from uh, this type of experiment this type of project so we'll continue to glue around the bottom it's not so important to cover the entire jar you can actually leave it um, see through you can see through the glass in certain parts it's not like the whole thing has to be covered this does not in any way affect how the barometer is going to work and here we have our glass jar with a little bit of an outdoorsy theme to it with some grass and some kind of raindrops made out of the paper flower petals and rays of sun and we use the blue paper to look like clouds so this will be our first part of the of the project decorating the glass